morning. <clears throat> so, about half a mile from Gun Pass, I'm pretty sure that's it right up there. And once again, I think I'm the first one on trail, unless there's people camped up there. But yeah, that was a beautiful little camp spot last night. Um, it got pretty cold last night. That little pond there of ice melt um, froze over again last night. And I forgot to sleep with my filter, but luckily last night after I used it, I shook all the water out, so. Um, and then I let it drain, so it didn't freeze. Um, so, plan for today is I think I'm gonna do when, take my time, so I've heard mixed things that the other side could be a bit sketchy. So, man, that altitude. Whew. So, I'm gonna take my time doing the traverse and then I'll probably make a second breakfast down at Ray Lakes there. And then I'll push on. I made a mistake in my video yesterday. Um, the next pass is actually Pincho, not uh, Mather. So, whew. so it looks like I'm gonna be doing one pass a day, <clears throat> averaging like about 15 miles until I get over to Silver and Selden. And apparently those aren't as bad just not as technical so I don't think I'll feel as bad about going up over those maybe a little bit later or in early afternoon so but that's the plan and uh, yeah it's gonna be another beautiful day just barely even any clouds but I'll check in again in the evening
دهد So I ended up doing uh, about 17 miles, I think, today. <clears throat> I'm just camped, I'm literally just camped under a tree. As you can see out here, there's a lot of snow. There's not really a whole lot of places to camp, so I found this dry spot under this tree, so I just tucked in under here, but... Um, yeah, it was a good day today. Um, Glen wasn't too bad. There's the the first ridge there after the pass was um, pretty exposed, and it was like some high angle side sloping. But there was a pretty good, um, well established boot track there, so it wasn't that bad. But I was definitely happy that I had my crampons and ice axe. I know there's been a lot of people that um, are saying you don't need them, but um, definitely if you're doing stuff in the morning, I, I wouldn't have felt comfortable doing that without um, proper gear, but um, <clears throat> Yeah, the plan for tomorrow is um, I think I'm gonna try and do Pincho and Mather because Mather is only like nine and a half miles from the top of Pincho, so But we'll see how it goes um, Apparently Pincho is not too bad I lost the trail here um, trying to get in to camp it was basically half the time I was just like up to my knees or up to my hips uh, post holing so at least in the morning it'll be crunchy and I can just kind of um, I found the trail back here again so I can just kind of head up the ridge from there but but yeah that's the plan um, so I'm going to be getting up at like probably 2 30 um make my breakfast and stuff get everything ready um, and my snacks and everything because i'm not really going to be stopping um but hopefully get to uh the approach for mather for like nine o'clock um i don't really want to be going up any later than that but uh mather from what i've read the comments on far out were saying that the mather's the gnarliest one by far um and the comments are fairly recent so that's gonna be fun but um but yeah we'll just go slow there's another there's a campsite basically right there before the uh the approach so worst case scenario if it's just not doable at that time then i can just camp there it's not ideal but you kind of gotta just do what you can do out here um the other thing was today i saw one other northbound pct hiker and i ran into a group um the guy actually did the at in 2018 um his name's hot sauce and his wife um and they're doing the trail um southbound starting in july so i'll probably run into them again a little bit further down the trail but we we're just kind of chit-chatting and talking trail stuff but um yeah it's nice to run into them but 
other than those two groups, I literally saw no one all day, which is just, it feels crazy to have this year as basically all to yourself. Um, yeah, I'm missing the two guys for sure, but, um, but it's also nice to just be out on your own and, and, uh, just kind of experience it in a different way. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm sure I'm going to run into some people in the next couple of days. Cause I know there's a, a big group in front of me as well. So, um, and then there's like another 50 people that are probably leaving. Um, some of them probably already left, but they're probably leaving, um, and going up over Kearsarge tomorrow. So, but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting doing the passes in the morning by yourself. <laughs> um, just going slow, taking my time and, uh, yeah, just making sure it's keeping my sure footedness and everything. But, but yeah, I'm looking, looking forward to it tomorrow and, uh, I'll check in again in the morning.